is an icon in the industry, and Jenna went to Nashville. Jenna, you had an exclusive interview, and this is a really, really big deal for Alan Jackson. Oh, he's such an awesome guy, y'all, and Alan Jackson tells much of his life story through his songs. But there's something he's been keeping private for the past 10 years. We sat down for a very candid and revealing conversation, his first ever interview about his hereditary health condition. For three decades, Alan Jackson's been living his honky-tonk dreams. His warm, soothing sound and prolific songwriting has transformed him from a mailroom worker from Newman, Georgia, into a bona fide country music superstar. Since 1990, he sold nearly 60 million albums worldwide, building his career with number one hit after number one hit. Life always seems to bring something around that I want to write about that makes sense. Alan Jackson was inducted into the hallowed halls of the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum in 2017. Uh, I don't think any of them had any idea I was going to sell 60 million albums. <laughs> What's it like to be here on the stage? For a country singer and songwriter, it's just top of the mountain. That's what it is. It's hard to believe that I'm part of this. Even with all his success, he's as humble as they come. Is it true that you still get nervous when you get up on stage to perform? I still am more self-conscious, I guess, than nervous. I've never been you know a real want to be in the spotlight kind of performer but being on stage now looks a little bit different for the 62 year old 10 years ago he was diagnosed with a degenerative nerve condition affecting his ability to walk i've been reluctant to talk about this publicly and to my fans i, I have this um, neuropathy a neurological disease it's a genetic that i inherited from my daddy it's called CMT, ironically enough, because CMT was a, a big, a big part of my career. CMT, also known as Charcot Marie Tooth Disease, damages the muscles and arms and legs, compromising balance and movement. There's no cure for it, but it's been affecting me for years, and it's getting more and more obvious, and I, I know I'm stumbling around on stage, and now I'm having a little trouble balancing even in front of the microphone, and so I just feel very uncomfortable. It's not going to kill me. It's not deadly, but it, it is related to like muscular dystrophy and Parkinson's disease. How does it feel to say this out loud? In some ways, it's a relief because I was starting to get so self-conscious up there, you know, about stumbling around. Mm -hmm. So it, it, you know, I think it'll be good for me now to you get it out in the open. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so if anybody's curious why I don't walk right, that's why. But the show will go on. The country legend plans to keep on playing. I never wanted to do the big retirement tour like people do and then take a year off and then come back, you know. I, I think it's kind of cheesy, and I'm not saying I'll, I won't be able to tour. I'll try to try to do as much as I can, so if I'm coming to your town... <laughs> <laughs> we'll come. We lay the rubber on the Georgia asphalt. We got a little crazy, but we never got caught. For Jackson, country music is in his soul, recently saying, quote, country music is gone and it's not coming back suggesting Nashville's pop influence has changed country music forever. I think real country music is really not part of mainstream country music anymore. I mean, and I don't want to sound like an old, bitter country singer, but, you know, it's a different generation. I just hate to see the real stuff disappear completely because I think it's it's a great part of American history. I mean, even though the instruments are going away, you know, the steel and the fiddle, and I wrote a song about that on this album. Sweet country music, where have you gone? In his new album, Where Have You Gone, his title track preserves the sound of country music's past. I feel a little more freedom now because I'm not trying to worry about getting on radio and fitting into their limitations. Jackson's songwriting is deeply personal. His music, a love letter to his wife and three daughters. Alan's been married to his high school sweetheart, Denise, for 41 years. How, how are y'all doing it together? When I'm down, he lifts me up. When he's down, I try to lift him up. I know you probably don't like the word legacy. Either one of you probably don't, I can, t I can tell. But what do you hope your legacy is? I've always believed that the the most important thing, the songs. And, uh, and that's what I'd like to, I guess, if I had a legacy.
I mean, look at this little Jimmy Dickens, Dolly Parton. And as we walked through the Hall of Fame's rotunda, it was clear the soundtrack of Alan Jackson's life will forever be cemented in country music history. I'm between George Jones and Hank Williams. I mean, that's, you couldn't be in a better spot than that. It's a good place to lie. Just seeing their faces uh, connecting with some of the songs, it's, that's what it's all about right there in the music. And Alan told me his grandmother, his father, and his sister all had CMT. Oh, He's known huh? about it for 10 years, but he isn't a public guy. He's, you know, he's very humble and private, and he was hoping not to talk about it, but now it's hard to get up there without um, stumbling. And he said he always thought he'd be like Willie Nelson huh. um, or Loretta, who yeah. would just perform until the end. Right. He still hopes to. He's still yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Does he use assistance when he walks now? No, or? he doesn't need it now. I mean, we, you know, his wife kind of helped him, mm -hmm. but he will. Wow, yeah. for a lot of people who've gone to his concerts and wondered, now they know. Yeah. And he actually chose you to tell that uh, important piece of information to him. Well, do you know that Henry Hager took me to an Alan Jackson concert for a third date? Oh, wow. Wow. There you go. To an Alan Jackson wow. concert in Washington, D.C. Wow. I hope you told him that. I told him. I told him. He, I, we, went, we went and saw him, too, and he goes, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, oh, sweet. He's a lovely, wonderful oh, guy. We're going to have more of your conversation mm -hmm. uh, with Alan Jackson on the fourth hour. We look forward to that. Thank you, Jamie. Mm -hmm. uh, let's turn to.